Hello, Gilart Satellite Networks is silently winning and winning big. The wider market, and in particular the Nasdaq where Gilart is listed, is facing crunch time as to whether it's going to fall off a cliff or begin a monumental recovery. History tells us the probability the Nasdaq continues its further decline in a mammoth way is less than a reversal. Since the highs in November, the Nasdaq has declined right now 22%. Consider the 2020 COVID decline from highs to low was 29% and the 2018 to 2019 highs to lows decline was 21%. Then if history does tell us anything right now could be near to or close to the bottom, right? Having said that, we are facing enormous issues in the world and liquidity is seemingly dried up simply by looking at the daily trading volumes on the wider stock market. So where do we go from here? It is anticipated that Guy Lartz will be releasing first quarter earnings in early May. There is another huge win to discuss and let's take a look at the bigger picture as to where Guy Lartz is heading which for me will be extreme coming growth. Stay tuned for a quick drill and more. Keep it simple. Well, well, well. Since the highs recorded in February 2021, Gilart stock right now is down 66%. This is horrific, but it is a trend across the board in tech stocks. Now, on a longer time horizon of five years, the stock is still up over 42%. Investing for me is always for the long term with short term profit taking and portfolio balancing being the keys that you will learn with experience. All good companies with good fundamentals will always do well long term. Short term factors are exactly that. So for Gilot, we have to look no further than all their contract wins in 2020 to 2022, which are huge and will drive them forward in the next three to five years. As the world continues to engage in mobility and connectivity, Gilot is clearly positioned well. But how are the earnings? Since the 2020 COVID crisis, Gilot has slowly but surely returned to positive EPS with the Q4 2021 coming in at 10 cents, which was a significant beat on estimates. But what is compelling for me is the recovery. If we look at the macro picture of the stock price over the last six months, it has actually been in a consolidation zone between nine and seven dollars give or take and an actual 13% decline in that exact period. This is something which buckles and outperforms even the Nasdaq which in the same period has declined 19%. What does this tell us? Simple, not many investors are selling their Gilart stock. Remember, the forward guidance from the last earnings call Gilart is expecting year over year revenue growth of between 12 to 21 percent and year over year EBITDA growth of 27 to 53 percent. Those are huge projections and if they hit those kind of numbers, holy smokes. It's not like they're coming out and predicting sub double digit growth. They are coming out with confidence that they are going to be killing it this year. As a long term investor with a time horizon of three to five years minimum in this company, I feel the direction is huge and long term returns could well be explosive. Now, we know Gilat has numerous contract wins in North and South America, Asia, Europe, on the seas and in the air. But on 27th of April, Gilat announced they won a multi-million dollar deal to provide satellite cellular backhaul solutions to a leading mobile telecom in the Democratic Republic of, check this, the Congo, which is Africa's second largest nation. Now I know you may be thinking Africa and maybe the Congo is not exactly a wealthy country. Moreover, some may still consider it to be a third world entity, but many economists have said that Africa is the next growth zone. And so Gilart winning a multi-million dollar deal right here signals to me 
they are planting the seeds for future exponential growth right now. This is so bullish, it's incredible. Look at what the IMF is predicting. By 2021, Africa is close to level with India and China on population and is set to literally explode exponentially while China and India are projected to decline. With population comes demand and over the next three decades global population is set to increase by about 2 billion with half of that in sub-Sahara Africa. This makes it potentially one of the world's most dynamic economies and one of the most important markets. Sowing the seeds right here, right now, will bear fruit in the coming years. To summarize, this has been a quick drill and the run up to the coming earnings is one that I am extremely looking forward to and I think it's going to be big. Also, Gilatians. Do not underestimate this recent win in the Congo. Thanks for watching. And please note, I'm extremely bullish on Gilot long term. So please take this drill with precaution and always do your own DD. If you found this video informative, then do me a simple favor. Like, share and subscribe. And we'll simply see you in the next one.